insanity. Isn't it wonderful? Well, it certainly is wonderful, if you're doing an episode about five famous people and whether they're nuts or not. So, on this episode, I have a question for you all. Oh, is it really true what Lewis Carroll said? Are we all mad here? All right, first, I'd just like to make a little disclaimer. I'm not necessarily saying that these people are crazy, just that some of their actions might be a little bit eccentric. I mean, I myself think I'm the perfect judge of something like this because I am a certified crazy person, and I just I feel like I would be very good at this. So I'm going to be looking at these and seeing if, for me personally, this would be something that I would do. So let's start off, and I'm going to start ruining your... Um, favorite uh, famous people. Right, so I got my computer here, and my first one is Walt Disney. So apparently, Walt Disney stated that he loved Mickey Mouse more than he had ever loved a woman. So I have to decide whether I think that's crazy or not. You know, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the quote. Okay, now, I know a lot of people probably think that this statement sounds crazy, but I really don't see it that way. I mean, if I were Walt Disney, and it was my character, you know, you gotta consider. I mean, many of you probably have boyfriends or girlfriends, and have they ever done for you like Mickey Mouse has done? I mean, Mickey Mouse gave Walt Disney millions of dollars. I mean, he was rich because of him. And what has your girlfriend or boyfriend done? Ask yourself in retrospect. Nagged at you, uh, yelled at you, uh, you know, just basically wasted your time and money. And, you know, I feel like maybe Walt Disney kind of has a point, you know. I mean, that's just me. So, I don't think Walt Disney's crazy. Okay, next I'm going to be trying to ruin the peanuts for you. And I don't think that's really possible. I mean, uh, peanuts, you know, like, I've never even met a person that didn't like the peanuts before. And Charles Schultz is like, he's a dog lover, he's a genius. It's impossible to not like him. But um, uh, here's what happened. He sent this letter to this little girl, and it says, Dear Miss Swain, I am taking your suggestion regarding Charlotte Braun, and will eventually discard her. And if you guys don't know who Charlotte Braun was, it was basically this counterpart to Charlie Brown. It was sort of like the Lucy before Lucy. Uh, but anyways, if she appears anymore, it will be in strips that were already completed before I got your letter, or because someone writes in saying that they like her. Uh, remember how... And this is actually where he starts to sound like a serial killer. Remember, however... You know, that actually sounds a little like Batman. Let me try again. Remember, however, that you and your friends will have the death of an innocent child on your conscience. Are you prepared to accept such responsibility? Thanks for writing, and I hope that future releases will please you. Sincerely, Charles M. Schultz. And um, below that he has a little picture of a girl getting hit with an axe. So, now I have to decide whether that's crazy or not. And actually, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and show you that letter. Here's the thing about that. Um, I don't... What you got to understand is that Charles Schultz uh, wrote letters back for all of his fans. He did, like, hundreds of responses to letters that were sent to him. You know, he, if you sent a letter to, to a Charles Schultz, you were going to get a response back, at least eventually. So, I mean, I just think it's really nice of him to do that, and I feel like if you do hundreds of letters like that, eventually you're going to come across one that makes him sound like a serial killer. That's just a fact of life. She was just the girl that happened to get that letter. So I don't really blame Charles Schultz for that, and I kind of get the joke. You know, I think it's funny, kind of, in a little, in a little way. I mean... I mean, it's not like the girl's a real girl getting hit with an axe. It's a fictional character. I just, I feel like this letter proves that people need to lighten up and have a little bit of a sense of humor. So no, I don't think this makes Charles Schultz crazy. Okay, next we have Britney Spears. And if you're not aware who Britney Spears is, congratulations. You're like most of the rest of the world. But throughout her career, she actually did a lot of things that were 
considered might be considered by some to be eccentric at the very least. She attacked a car with an umbrella. I'm not sure who the winner was, whether it was Britney Spears or the car, but by the looks of this picture, I think Britney Spears won. Uh, in another case, she um, shaved her entire head. Uh, it says here that the barber didn't actually want her to shave her head. Um, she, he actually refused to do it himself, so she just took the shaver and just shaved her own head. So, a little. And, and there was also this one case where she um, did had this bow constrictor around herself during the uh, VMAs. But I, I, got, I got to be honest, to me that's just artistic. I'm not going to necessarily say that's eccentric. So, um, look, I just want to say this. Um, a lot of people try to defend these celebrities, and I don't think you should, because anytime you want to defend a celebrity, most of the time they're probably just crazy and evil. Just assume that all celebrities are evil and crazy. There's no exceptions. Maybe Mr. Rogers is the exception, but that is it. After Mr. Rogers, there is no exception. All celebrities are crazy and evil, so... Okay, next up we have author Conan Doyle. And um, if any of you aren't aware, author Conan Doyle was the writer of Sherlock Holmes, and Sherlock Holmes happens to be one of my favorite characters. I actually have quite a lot in common with him, I think. But anyways, author Conan Doyle apparently believed in like a lot of supernatural stuff, like fairies and ghosts and the afterlife, and actually caused him to have a lot of problems with his friend Harry Houdini. Uh, author Conan Doyle believed that Harry Houdini actually did have magical powers and it was hiding it from Arthur. And he also got mad at him because he was all, Harry Houdini was always like proving that people didn't really have magical powers and breaking up seances, se seances, whatever. But um, I have to decide whether author Conan Doyle was crazy or not. I'm gonna go with no, and here's why. I do not believe a belief in and of itself is crazy. I'm, for this list, I was more interested in actions, some people doing uh, crazy things. So, for me, um, you know, um, he's not attacking anyone. He isn't, he isn't attacking a car with an umbrella. He isn't hurt anyone. He just believes this, and a lot of people apparently believe in ghosts and fairies. So, I'm, and also, not only that, but according to my Fireside Tales research, there's a good chance a lot of that exists. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say he's sane. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to judge him on this. Okay, so next we got Vincent Van Gogh. And in 1888, Vincent Van Gogh chopped off his left ear with a razor in France, and he gave it to his girlfriend. So I have to decide now whether he was crazy or not. So... Uh, hold on a second. I sneeze. There goes my sensitive bladder. Oh, all right. Sound okay. familiar? Then you'll yeah, hold love on, this. Hold on a second. Okay. Incredible pre I'm sorry, that was just a pop-up ad. I don't have sensitive bladder. I don't pee my bed or anything. Okay, so now I've got to decide whether he was crazy or not. Um, moving on from that. You know... I've got to say this. I mean, I think he did it out of love, you know? He was very passionate about this woman. He wanted to show her how he felt. Maybe she understood this. Maybe she was like, oh, your ear, this is so sweet. I, I love you. And I mean, think about the party jokes he could have with this, you know? He could be um, sitting there and someone could say something to him like, hey, uh, Vincent Van Gogh, you making that new painting? And he could be like, what? And they could say it again and he could be like, what? And then um, they could say it again he says, uh, I'm sorry, you're going to have to say into my ear. It's over there on the kitchen counter. <laughs> you see, that's, that's funny, you know? Use it as an ornament, maybe... Okay, well, maybe that was crazy. All right. Okay, Vincent Van Gogh is crazy for chopping off his left ear. I think we can all agree with that. All right, so that, that was an easy one. Hi, guys. Thanks for watching this video. And if you're wondering... Hi Guys is the official name of the Seth Lewis audience. So anyways, I got some announcements. Uh, first off, I'd like to say that next week I will be joining you for the Fireside Tales, but I won't be able to join you for the other episode. I'm having my cousin, Edwin Douglas. He he's going to do an episode instead. And also, this is the end of the video, so I I'd like you all to leave in the comments below uh, what you thought of it, whether you agreed with me about some of these people, whether you disagreed. I'm okay if you disagree. Just put your opinion down below. Tell me of any other crazy pe famous people that you know about. 
So abrupt stop.